more inclusions today we're going to discuss and define the meaning and its nature of community engagement, solidarity, and citizenship. Let's define first what is the meaning of community engagement. And it is the process of working collaboratively with and through groups of people affiliated by geographic proximity, special um, interests of, or similar situations to address issues affecting the well-being of those people. So our target is the barangay, our community. Now then we're working together um, and look, let's look at their needs, their interests, and their situation and what issues that we that they have so we're looking at the the environmental and behavioral uh, change uh, of course uh, socio-cultural socio-economic and socio-political of the community and its members okay community engagement can take many forms actually and partners can include organized groups agencies institutions or individuals Collaborators may be engaged in health promotion, economic, research, or policy making. So, uh, this is the nature of uh, community engagement. Maraming, uh, maraming forms to actually. And um, we have to work with others. Hindi natin magagawa ito mag -isa. Okay, uh, this uh, chart is the flow of the, of the communication in uh, community engagement. Of course, there, uh, the, let's see and uh, identify our outreach or the, our barangay. And then we're going to consult the, particularly we're going to look at the uh, barangay chairman. And uh, we'll present something about our uh, intent. Uh, to work with the barangay and uh, our involvement and of course the collaboration and shared leadership after the okay the plan is being uh, engaged you know, already okay uh, why we need to practice community engagement actually we are uh, advocating something uh, uh, when we say advocates or advocacy advocacy we are uh, put ourselves in the middle. This is the needs of the barangay and we were going to provide their needs. No? And of course, how can we provide their needs? Uh, we'll top some agencies, no? non-government organizations, schools, uh, even government. So advocates of community engagement asserts so that it improves their social culture, the social cultural their economic, particularly their uh, livelihood, and of course the political or social political. All right, a, uh, in a recent review of the literature of community engagement identified nine areas uh, in which community engagement made positive impact. Although this study focused on research partnership, many of its findings are relevant to community engagement in general. So let's define or uh, know the nine areas and the corresponding benefits for us follows. Okay, agenda, that's number one. Engagement uh, changes the choice and focus of projects, how they are initiated and their potential to obtain funding. New areas for collaboration are identified and funding that requires community engagement becomes accessible so agenda is this is our focus of projects okay it could be a um, their socio-cultural or socio-economic their livelihood the time for focus then of course after laying down the agenda then we need uh, we need to obtain funds all right so don't I neglect link ayon. Okay, another one is design and delivery. Improvements to study, design, tools, interventions, representation, participation, data collection, and analysis, communication, and dissemination can be analyzed or uh, can be implemented rather. New intervention or previously unprecedented, unappreciated. Causal links can be identified through the community's knowledge of local circumstances. The speed and efficiency of the project can be enhanced 
by rapidly engaging partners and participants and identifying new sources of information. So in our design and delivery, siyempre kailangan meron muna tayong parang pinaka blueprint or plan of our products then and uh, we have a uh, a series of um, communication and analysis and of course then after that uh, we're going to present this to people particularly to barangay chairman and after that dissemination of uh, the program then the implementation and the implementation and change improvements can be made in a way research findings are used to bring about change through new or improved services policy or funding change or transformation of professional practices and capacity for change and the maintenance of long-term partnership can be expanded um, ang mahirap lang is talagang ayaw mag, uh, magbago ng community kasi when once na tayo ay mag-implement uh, ng uh, project or something, then uh, it costs some change no? for people. Ang mahirap pag sila ay nakasanayan, traditional na mga tao. So, we, we need to explain the benefits of this implementation or this project. Now, another one is ethics. Engagement creates opportunities to improve the consent process, identify ethical pitfalls, and creates processes for resolving ethical problems when they arise. So, uh, ethics is um, uh, how we, uh, the, the, the team, um, moves, no? Kung paano tayo kumilos na in an ethical way, no? We need to, we need to identify, no? The, the pitfalls saan tayo pwedeng uh, bumagsak. And, of course, create some ethical problems, uh, resolving ethical problems pag nag-arise. Okay? Uh, sigurado, meron yan eh. Meron at meron. Okay, the public involved in the project the knowledge and skills of the public involved in the project can be enhanced. Okay, uh, usually uh, in this project that we have, na erase, uh, ang mga things that we, that we need to to use, no, or utilize, na yung skills natin and uh, and knowledge, na mga involved, no, to this project. May enhance pa yan eh yung mga talents, their contributions can be recognized, no? Malalaman, malalaman yan. And uh, we can, some of the projects can um, merong mga reward system. So these efforts foster goodwill and help lay the groundwork for subsequent collaborations, okay? So we need to involve the public. Now, another one is academic partners like our school, no? the, the National Ser Service Training Program, the, the, our subject, particularly in grades, uh, grade school, in a senior high. Doon tayo papaso. No? Uh, academic partners can gain enhanced understanding of the issue under study and appreciation of the role and value of community involvement, which sometimes result in direct career benefits. In addition, new insights into the relevance of a project and the various benefits to be gained from it can result in increased opportunities to disseminate its findings and their wider use. Malaking portion o role ang ating eskwelahan when it comes to uh, community involvement. Another one is individual research participants. Improvement in the way studies are carried out can make it easier to participate in them and bring benefits to participants. So our uh, projects no, is, should be a um, uh, research based. So tatanungin natin mga tao we're going to house to house and and uh, look at their uh, 
we call them demographic, uh, you know, questions. And then after that, we're going to analyze. Another one is community organizations. What is this? So these organizations can gain enhanced knowledge, a higher profile in the community, more linkages with other community members and entities, and new organizational capacity. These benefits can create goodwill and help lay the groundwork for subsequent collaboration. So, so we can organize the, the youth, the, 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 let's look at the, the profile of the community, sino ang dapat uh, mag-join for us. And yung mga kadalasan ay uh, mga target natin dito are the, the women or ladies of, uh, in the community. Kasi lagi silang nandun. Okay, so we're going to give them uh, education that they need no, sa kanilang livelihood, etc. And general public, of course. The general public is likely to be more receptive to research or to the research and, uh, and reap greater benefits from it. Okay, when we say general public, the, the madlang people. Okay, there are types of community engagement and uh, number one is community building. Okay, when we have a community engagement, uh, we are, uh, this is an intentional, uh, bring the people together to simply get to know one another. So for community buildings, and sometimes uh, actually we should start with team building activities first, no? Um, like us, no, sa atin, sa mga students, kailangan natin ng uh, team building. And once we go to the community, we need to build no, our, uh, our relationship with the uh, uh, barangay officials and particularly for the Sangguniang Kabataan or the SK. So let's have first a uh, team building, community building muna tayo. Another one is, uh, another type is commu community education. Okay, projects that provide instructional services or curricula or serve to educate the public about a social issue. So, in a non-partisan way, hindi tayo makipag-debate ng kanilang mga pananaw patungkol sa kanilang uh, uh, political views. No? Uh, in, uh, for, for example, a, li a livelihood presentation. Paano gumawa ng langgunisa? Paano gumawa ng... Para sa mga kababaihan, no? Nang sa gayon, uh, tinuturuan natin sila. This is one way to uh, to build no in their livelihood. Okay, so this is what we call community education. Maraming uri ng klasing uh, pagtuturo. Community organizing projects that bring people together with the goal of solving a community issues. No, anong problema sa ating community? I'll, I'll give you an example. A uh, clean up drive. No. Uh, let's organize ourselves to clean our surroundings. No, pwede yan. Ang tayo ang pwedeng magpasinuno and then i-organize natin sino yung mga purok leader doon o sino yung, uh, let's identify no? yung mga kababaihan at saka mga purok leader and actually they are the one or he's the, she's the one to, to, uh, to organize his uh, or her uh, community or people. And another one is deliberative or deliberative dialogue. Okay, so there is a dialogue. Projects that intentionally bring people together to build understanding across differences. Okay, so in a community engagement, uh, we're there to to sit uh, in between uh, and uh, look at the two sides at uh, yun. Uh, kung ano may mga differences nila ito yung uh, uh, dialogue can be a good way to uh, good venue for us to, for them to uh, to have an understanding and uh, build uh, the the community kasi mahirap yung hiwa-hiwalay okay direct service projects that provides a service or product to an individual group or the community as a whole Ex example for this is uh, include uh, filling a volunteer shift at the local organization, creating social media tools for an organization, or creating a community murals. So, direct service, depende sa needs, no? Halimbawa, um, mayroong panganib o disaster, or mayroong mga 
things like that. So, actually, tayo nakikibahagi lang. It's the role of the barangay. That, that's their duty. Lalo na sa mga, in terms of mga police, no? Yung barangay police. So, sila yun eh. Pero ano yung kakayanan natin para ma- ma-serve natin yung tinatawag na service or services sa kanila, no? Yung directly or to the individual. Maybe by giving of uh, ayuda or gift giving, no? Uh, and uh, normally sa education pa rin tayo. Economic development. Projects that work on development, developing the regional econo- economy in a sustainable or sus- uh, way. Okay? Examples include feasibility studies for new businesses and projects that attract people to small town uh, business districts. So, economic development. Actually, uh, I want you to focus on this uh, uh, community engagement when it comes to economic development. No? Maybe we, we should look at the, uh, is there a vacant lot for them to uh, to plant? Imaganon. Then, uh, yun, yun yung kailangan nila eh. Ngayon, livelihood. So, titingnan natin yan and we're going to do a research on this. Okay, engage research, um, research that directly benefits the community by clarifying the causes of a community challenge, mapping a community assets or contributing to solutions to uh, uh, current challenges and also fits a faculty member's research agenda. In the best case scenario, faculty with uh, research expertise who work alongside community members and students on such projects. Okay? An example would be the Barangay Community Needing Assessment. Yung pinagawa ko sa inyo community um, uh, mapping uh, just to identify the, the location. And of course, the, the disasters na, na hinaharap nila. So, ano yung magagawa natin dito? And the need. No? Uh, let's go back to the uh, economic doon pa rin eh. No? Para maging fruitful ang kanilang mga uh, yung sa community. No? Uh, ano yung fruitful yung time nila and everything. Now, institutional engagement, ito yung mga like school. No? We have resources. So this is uh, intentionally offered without undue barriers to the community. Making campus events accessible, no, and choosing to use local and sustainable businesses to supply services or goods. So, um, school can be used, no, to sustain their uh, 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 their economic and uh, you know what anong mga services that you, that can offer to the to the community. That's why right now we have. Uh, Pasiano, we have San Cristobal, Banlik also, and uh, in Cabuyao, and Mamatid. So, ito yung mga four barangays natin. Right, na, may, meron tayong dalawa, no? Pasiano and uh, San Cristobal. Naka, naka-engage tayo doon with the barangay people. Okay, now we're done with the community um, engagement. Okay, let's have a break. <laughs>